Hey guys, so today is day eight or lesson eight. Actually, no, I take that back. Today is day seven or lesson seven of our Wagon Wheels book talk. You're going to be reading from the book today and you're going to be working on lesson seven in here. Okay, so let's take a look at our vocabulary. Post writer, a person who delivers mail by horse. And we can see a picture of a post writer on page 45 in our book. Turn in our book. Right there we see a post writer. Remember, way, this story took place a long time ago and they didn't have cars. They had wagons pulled by horses and they didn't really have a mailman and mailboxes like we have today. So they had what they called post riders and it was people who would deliver mail. They would carry it in their saddlebags on their horse and they would deliver mail from town to town. So this is a post rider. And then a trail, a trail is a pathway, okay? It's not like a regular road. It's usually from animals or people walking over grass or dirt for a long time. It wears it down and it forms a trail or a path, okay? All right, so yesterday we read all about how the boys were caught in a prairie fire. So let's read today. Remember, once the fire had died out, they just kind of went home. That was kind of scary that they were caught in that fire, but the whole town worked together to help each other. So today, you guys are going to be reading pages 44 to 47 with me, and then we're going to talk about pages 7 and 8 in our book talk mini journal, okay? All right, so now let's have our books. Page 44, this is chapter 4, the letter. April went by then May and June. So let's think about that. All of April, all of May, all of June. So daddy's been gone for three months now. The boys have been living by themselves. We hunted and fished and waited for a letter from daddy. Nothing came. Then in July, the post writer came with a letter for us. So a whole other month passed. So it was four months that they waited to hear from daddy. They've been living alone on their, in their dugout for four months by themselves. So let's read about our letter. Ready? It said, Dear boys, I have found fine free land near Solomon City. There is wood here to build a house and good black dirt for growing corn and beans. There is a map with this letter. The map shows where I am and where you are. Follow the map, stay close to the Solomon River until you come to the Deer Trail. You will find me. I know you can do it because you are my fine big boys. Love to you all, Daddy. So that's it. That's all we're reading today. I want you guys to really think about that. The boys have been living on their own for four months, taking care of themselves hunting and fishing and finally the letter came from daddy and that he has now found a good place to live and he wants the boys to take the map that he drew for them and he they're going to follow that map until they come to the deer trail and once they find that deer trail they'll be able to find daddy so think about that all right so you guys now are going to do pages seven and eight in your book talk mini journal okay I want nice sentences, guys. See all the lines? That means I want you guys to write a few sentences, at least two or three, maybe four. Daddy trusts the boys to follow the map and find him. Do you think they can do it? What makes you think that? Think about what we read about the boys and what they've been doing, okay? This is your opinion of whether or not you think they're going to be able to follow the map to find Daddy, okay? Imagine that you are one of the mudly bo moldy boys and you finally received the letter from daddy. What would you write back in a letter to daddy? Include details from the story in your letter. So you're going to write daddy a letter back. You're going to pretend like you're one of the moldy boys and you've been living in that dugout. Think about all the stuff you've been doing. Think about what happened. Remember there was that prairie fire. You're going to write a letter to daddy. 
and think about the details that you're going to put in your letter. Dear Daddy, and you're pretending like you're one of the boys, so you're going to tell him everything you've been doing and everything that's been happening on the prairie. Okay? And maybe whether or not you guys are going to come and find him. Okay. Enjoy this, guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow.